and history shows how our total sum of information grows in huge leaps as we develop new technologies. The invention of the printing press kicked off the first data and information explosion. If you piled up all the books that had been printed by the year 1700, they would make 60 stacks, each as high as Mount Everest. Then, starting in the 19th century, there came a second information revolution with the telegraph, gramophone and camera, and later radio and TV. The total amount of information exploded. And by the 1950s, the information available to us all had multiplied 6,000 times. Then, thanks to the computer and later the internet, we went digital. And the amount of data we have now is unimaginably vast. A single letter printed in a book is equivalent to a byte of data. A printed page equals a kilobyte or two. Five megabytes is enough for the complete works of Shakespeare. 10 gigabytes, that's a DVD movie. Two terabytes is the tens of millions of photos added to Facebook every day. 10 petabytes is the data recorded every second by the world's largest particle accelerator. So much only a tiny fraction is kept. Six exabytes is what you'd have if you sequence the genomes of every single person on Earth. But really, that's nothing. In 2009, the internet added up to 500 exabytes. And in 2010, in just one year, that will double to more than one zettabyte. Back in the real world, if we turn all this data into print, it would make 90 stacks of books, each reaching from here all the way to the sun. The data deluge is staggering, but with today's computers and statistics, I'm confident we can handle it. <laughs>